And I, I thought this was pretty interesting. Now, of course, we're, we're back A13, okay? Arizona Daily Star, uh, Thursday, March the 4th, 2010. Okay? Quite interesting. This article I found now, they did label it. That's the Associated Press, but basically, if you didn't catch that little fine print, you know, figure this was their article. <clears throat> I thought it was interesting how uh, exactly what I was talking about and I had spoke to that other gentleman about was the fact that uh, what we're really doing in Afghanistan and and I'm starting to see it all come out because I, okay here's the title Afghan Opium Packing Den Found by Luck okay basically and what it shows here is, is you've got all these you know civilian army uh, guys, United States Army men, all standing around this cache. Now, basically, to get to the long story short, they they uh, found this old poppy farmer, and, and they said, ah, it's all right, you know, don't worry about it. We're after the Taliban. We're not after poppy farmers, okay? So, so that means, I guess, if you buy into the whole thing about... <laughs> Oh, about the uh, Al Qaeda, Al Qaeda that we're chasing. Okay, when I talk to people that came back from there, they don't seem to be thinking the same thing. This whole thing's just basically a joke. And now, so basically, what I'm saying is they're admitting that we're over there. We're helping the poppy farmers. It's okay. Hey, it's okay that your kids are on heroin right now. Did you know they were? Yeah, American school kids on heroin, and it's being supplied by our fucking government. Okay? Because they may not, they're probably the ones bringing it over hell. They may not be manufacturing it themselves, but they sure as hell guarding it. And they ain't doing nothing to them, because as this article says, and basically what I'm thinking is they just gave you this article to make sure that, you know, you understand that there's nothing wrong with this. It's okay. It's all right that, and I will quote them here, okay? It's all right that the owner is left alone. They're talking owner of these, the drugs. Now, they don't even say in here that they confiscated the drugs, so that tells me they probably didn't even do that, okay? They ain't got no time. What are they going to do with it? You know, we're going to send six pounds of opium, because that's what they found, some shit like that. But two U.S. Drug Enforcement Administration employees... Nosing around the base found four and a half pounds of opium, five large bags of poppy seeds, 50 or so sickles, jugs, and a large scale for measuring opium. Okay. When the Marines leave this compound this week, though, they won't detain the old bearded Afghan man suspected of owning the high hidden cache. Instead, they'll hand him $600 in rent for using the place for a base. You know, and, and it doesn't say anything in this article like, it is just so disgusting that, you know, or, or that they're offended by... This is like, this is the norm. We're after LCIA, duh. What is it we're telling them this week, John? Yeah. Okay, we're still with the CIA thing. The, I mean, the Al-Qaeda. What do you guys say? Yeah, boogeyman in the cave. It's a guy in a cave, yes. We're looking for the guy in a cave. And we seen him the other day, so don't worry. Someone like Pakistan, was it yesterday, Could said that. Anywhere. We got the guy. We seen him. We know him. He's it. Where but in then... the world is... <laughs> What's his name? Where in the world is Osama Bin Laden? I don't know. He just magically moves around wherever they need to put him. You know, but they weren't even looking for him. Well, the yeah, FBI already admitted. Me. Well, I'm sorry. They weren't looking for him for, for 9-11. Why, why is that? You know, oh, well, we ain't got no evidence to tie him to 9 11. We got him tied to a whole bunch of other stuff. I mean, yeah. We had him tied down at the time, right? I mean, I mean, I don't remember. I don't recall. We'll smoke them well, out. Get that camera out of here. Get that camera out of here. You know, Jesus Christ. This shit's safe, right? You know? It's got the United States government stamp right on it. Got to be safe. You know, it's okay if your kids are on that kind of heroin. It's all right, you know. Shit ain't cheap, either. It's a good shit, man. United States government stamp right on it. God damn it. That's the best hair heroin there is. You fuck wrong with me, I fuck with you. You ain't kidding me. That's just... That ain't even got the stamp. That's just garbage, man. I'm doing none of that shit, no. We don't shoot it anymore. Didn't you know what they did? They they, they made a way now. They can they snort it now. Okay? And to some people, they're going to be like, Duh, okay, but... You know, some people don't know this, okay? They've made it into a powder now. 
that you can take like cocaine and, and all those people, you know, they're like, I wouldn't touch needles. Yeah, a lot of people wouldn't, honestly, they wouldn't. I mean, it's really hard to make that transfer to needles from what I understand. I, I'm, I, I'm, I hate needles, so I can see where they might just be a lot more people didn't want to use needles. So they all freaking out, I don't use needles. Well, you know what kids are doing now, don't you? The, and and I'm, I'm sure the government figured that out, how to make it. Here, use this process to turn it into white powder, man. Hey, so this is good around schools now. You know, this you think this ain't happening. This shit's happening. It's happening in these rich schools. They can go buy a little bag for 10 bucks, even. And they're getting that for lunch money a day, because you can't go get a lunch under $10, Mom, unless I, I'm going down to the cafe latte. What do you want me to get? You want me on a diet now? You, little Johnny says. Yes, and now. Uh, want me on a diet now, Mom? I, you want to give me twenty dollars for the day? Growing up, are going to turn to drugs because the statistic oh, they have. I've heard is that it's fifty percent unemployed under the age of twenty-five. Well, whether so. they are going to turn to drugs or not, because the drug war sure as hell ain't slowing it down or stopping it. It's sped it up. But one thing I do know, you know, forget all that. One thing I do know is the government doesn't need to be bringing it in. They don't need to be backing well, it up. Is. They don't need to be using our Marines God. to fucking fort to, to protect poppy fields. Okay? Gold, oil, and drugs. Those are all things that they can control and make money off of. I don't know. It's just, you know, so anyway, get used to this. I mean, that's okay. Oh, did you yeah. see it, Johnny? Did you see it, Johnny? Yeah, they got one of so them guys. Them He's putting out, yeah, they gave him a $600 reward. Did they? They did. They didn't take his shit or nothing, but they gave him a six hundred dollar reward. Yeah, they did. Now that's normal, cause we going after that Al Qaeda. We need that Al Qaeda. Screw that. We don't need to hurt these poor, poor poppy uh, farmers. Ain't doing nobody no harm. If we don't uh, fight them it. over there, they could be hiding in a trash can over here, <laughs> putting some explosive in you there. You know, or you can't even write this shit. They're, but they're like, don't worry, they're not gonna, when you write to them, you know, they'd be like, oh, you didn't see that? You didn't, didn't you see that? Didn't, didn't you, did, you didn't see that? It, oh, it says right there, Associated Press. Well, that's if you trust them. Well, hell, I, I thought that was your article for a minute. I, I don't know how I got confused on that.